Hello Libras, my name is Psychic Gigi. I am back to do your mini love reading, Sun, Moon, and Rising for August 1st through August 15, 2019. I've already kind of shuffled my cards. My information is listed below if you would like a private reading, but we're going to jump right into this reading today. Move on, move quickly. Okay, so Libras, Sun, Moon, and Rising, general love reading. Okay, so the first card we have, awesome, Empress. Okay, I feel like a lot of you have gone through a um, period of stagnation, really, and now everything's just, just starting to come together, starting to unfold. You guys are getting ready to get out, mingle again. Um, some of you are going to be having some new relationships. You're going to get some new love in your life. Um, and also some of you are kind of dealing with, as we have the seven, sorry, six of, six of swords reversed. Some of you might be kind of finishing that energy with somebody from your past where, you know what, you're not going to take that, that shit anymore. So you know exactly what you want. It's right here. It starts right in the beginning. Again, this is Venus right here. So you want that love and you're not going to take anything, um, moving forward. You're You've gone through some stormy times or some troubled periods, but you might have felt a, little, felt a little bit trapped and stuck, but I want to stay focused on you are the Empress. Again, this is not gender related. This reading is not going to resonate with everybody, but um, I feel like it's going to resonate with a good part of you as I'm starting to read the energy. So the next card that we have is Judgment. Um, okay, so looking at the overall, you guys have done a lot of work on yourselves. You've also, you know what you want. Um, this person from your past, there's a lot of judgment. You might be judging each other a little too harshly, um, kind of throwing blame or accusations. Maybe even some upcoming arguments you have to, to deal with, with this person. It could be somebody that you're currently involved with or somebody um, from your past who hasn't really been, might have been a little bit distant, but you want to come back into your life, guys. Um, so just be careful for that. Um, just make sure that you kind of sit down and talk things through. Really important. Without the judgment, without being too critical of each other, um, kind of forgive the past. And just start new. So, and if they're not on board with that, or if you are not on board with that, you you know, you guys might just decide to just kind of go your separate ways and move on to something better. Because I feel like you can rise above this type of energy. Let's just make sure that you guys see that. Sorry, I'm gonna readjust. Um either way, I feel like you guys are at a much higher energetic level than you've been in the past, but um, don't second guess yourself if somebody does come at you and says, well, you did this, well, you did that. Yeah, no, not really. Um, just be mindful and pay attention to your intuition. If you have to self-evaluate, self-evaluate within yourself. Don't really, you know, concentrate on what other people are thinking about you because you are way above. So just remember. You have the ability to rise above any type of situations that you are facing or will have to face for the next two weeks. The next um, card that I have is the full reversed. So again, this could be like you're kind of holding back a little bit. You really want, you know, your current relationship or somebody from your past to come back, but you want them to come back in a different way. And, you know, this is giving us... Um, the full card is giving us a little bit of warning that, you know, this could be you kind of feeling a little insecure. Like you just feel like the relationship, and it could be the relationship's on a shaky ground. So, hey, I mean, you're done with the bullshit, basically. Um, you want, it's either come back, you're not ready to, you know, you're not looking for that risky type of energy that this person is. So come back stable, come back straight, come back right, um, or get yourself right, get yourself together. I feel like that's what you guys are kind of saying. So the next card that we have is the Three of Wands reversed, and with the Three of Wands reversed, um, this 
person still has not grown. So if you're in a current relationship or if this is somebody from your past who's kind of lingering, I feel like they're already in your energy. If they're kind of lingering, they haven't grown and you need to, you know, you might get a little disappointed with some of the things that they say or some of their actions. So again, don't feel like you're trapped. Don't feel like, you know, your wings have been clipped. That's the energy that I get because they're not, you know, don't allow them to place too much judgment upon you. Don't over, you know, don't feel like, and if you, if you're the one who's placing judgment on yourself, again, this could be completely related just for my Libras, you know, don't, don't be so critical of yourself because you have a long, you know, you have a lot to offer. You have a lot of love. You have that prosperity around you. There's a lot of balance within you. And now it's just kind of, you know, grow those wings and like kind of set yourself free, whichever, you know, whichever direction you go into, whether it's this person coming back. If this person's a little bit unstable and he's, you know, he or she is just really not made any changes, you might want to just go ahead and set some boundaries. This might be a good time for you to set those boundaries this month and say, hey, um, okay, you can come back into my life, but listen, I'm only going to see you once a week. No, <laughs> or I'm only going to talk to you when I want to talk to you. Um, but I feel like you definitely are taking the overall energy of this is you're taking control of the situation. So the next card that we have is the Nine of Wands reverse. And with the Nine of Wands reverse, it's like your partner is still wanting to argue. There's still that stalemate energy. One of you or both of you could kind of be just digging your heels in and saying, no, 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 not having it not doing it, um, you need to do this, just remember and be mindful that any relationship, whether it's a friendship, a love relationship, or somebody you're currently married to, um, you, ha there is, you have to compromise no matter what. So you both need to kind of learn from your past, and definitely there is a need to compromise instead of being stubborn um, and like digging your heels into the ground and saying, nope, no, no. Um, so kind of lift that energy away and just be open mind, open heart type of energy. So the bot at the bottom of the card, I have the moon reversed. Again, this is about paying to paying attention to your intuition, your subconscious mind, your subconscious dreams, and you might be kind of um, just starting to release some fears that you have. So there might be some um, secrets. I always get like type of like somebody was hiding something, so that might be revealed as you start to communicate with this person, but don't block your intuition. Always go with that first type of, okay, I, mm, yeah, no. Um, I just get, this is all about truth. And a relationship around you is going to come to light. So this person might have deceived you um, in the past, and you might have just like closed eyes to it, but now everything's just kind of opening up. So you definitely need to pay attention to your intuition. Maintain your composure and also your self-confidence during this period. Um, this will help you get through any struggles that you might have with this little flippy floppy person here. Um, but I'm also getting, you might be ignoring um, your intuition. So don't ignore your intuition, guys. Don't do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull an Oracle Angel card for you guys. For my Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and all my cross watchers. And see what our spirit guides have to say that will help us stay balanced and on the right path. I always like to say, get on the right path, guys. Okay, power. Okay, love it. You guys do have the power. You guys are very strong. My Libras are always, you know, they have strong energy. Um, even when, like, life is so challenging, it seems like, Right now, you just have to trust that you have the power and the strength to get through the present obstacles and reach a new chapter for greater peace and harmony that is really right around the corner for you guys. So just try to keep positive um, and lighthearted um, because you are in control of your, your environment. So you are the master of your life and I feel like the universe is behind you guys. And you do have the power and the strength. And they're, they're going to help you push forward. So you've gone through this phase. And now things are going to start to lighten up a little bit. You're going to get some clarity, some truth. 
and I feel like it's going to be a good next two weeks for you guys. So, um, that's all. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching Libras. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising. Please like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate all of my supporters um, that have been um, subscribing to my channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, sending lots of love and light to you all.